So variables are added in 2.6. This is probably one of the hardest things that people are going to find to, over, to understand. But if you figure this out, it'll actually make writing macros easier and simpler. So I'm going to go across to a rogue. So I've been using John Met's subtlety macro. One of the things about that class and stuff is that apparently I haven't gotten to 52 yet, but apparently you use Eviscerate as a finisher. So like you build up your combo points as a rogue, you use Eviscerate, but then at 52, you stop using Eviscerate and you start using Black Powder. So I don't have Black Powder yet. So what spec am I? Outlaw, let's change to Subtlety. I got my, so I have my subtlety macro. But when I turn around and look at the bits, if I go to subtlety, so black powder is a level 52 ability. But it turns around and does, instead of doing eviscerate on one target, it does stuff, it's, it's an AOE, whatever else. So, that, so should you be using subtlety, should you be using black powder? That's a debate I'll leave for people that understand rogues. But this is just a great way of understanding variables. So what you've got is, if you've got a cast sequence line, right? So if you've got a cast sequence line like this one here, Shuriken Storm, Shuriken Storm, and I've got hash hash level 52. But if I got Shuriken Storm, Shuriken Storm, and at this point I have black powder, but I don't have the spell that line will just get stuck and it'll never get past it. So I'll never get back to the shuriken storms because of the fact that it's just stuck. It's just stopped dead. So what I've got is I've got this thing level 52. It's got two uh, tildars, the tildars, the key next, like shift and the key next to one. Two tildars at either side of it and it just says level 52. On this variables tab, I've got level 52 and then I've got this thing. So I'll break that out. Let's go to Notepad. Make this a little bit bigger. So what it's doing is it's replacing level 52 with a function. Now function is programming code. It's literally deep, 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 deep level programming code. But what this is doing is it's going if unit level player is less than 52, then use Eviscerate. Otherwise, use Black Powder. And the end end is basically, this end is an end to the if, and that end is an end to the function. So it, it is end end on purpose, but it's literally end end just so that it knows that that matches that, that matches that. Now there are other, there are other ones that we've got We've got this one GCD, right? Hash, hash, oh, tilde, tilde, GCD, tilde, tilde. And when you run that, it'll turn around and give you back out. Every time you've put that in, it'll turn around and give you your current GCD. Um, this one HE is a little bit more complicated, but there's a problem with if you've got um, hard essence um, in your macro, so like the line cast hard essence, and you don't have a neck piece, what will happen is that when you cast Heart Essence, if you don't have a neck piece, it will turn around and just the whole game just locks up. It's problems with deep in WoW, it's just not something I've got control of, it's just the whole game locks up. So what I've got instead is I've got this thing, HG, and what it does is it does this. So it does a check. Get get the get the item of what somebody's playing wearing. Where is it here? So, you get the inventory link of what somebody's wearing at slot 2. So, what have they got around their neck? If I look at this character... Ah, uh, broke Elv again. Alright, so I got this character. Around its neck piece, it's got a Heart of Azeroth. So, what's going to happen is when I turn around and run this variable, what it should do is it should return this line here. Cast, no combat, channeling, 
Heart of Azeroth. Oh, Heart Essence. Otherwise, if I don't, it should return this thing with the two minuses, which basically says return a comment. So if I have a look at that, what I should get is I'm just going to do run. Alright, so I'm going to put this into, put this about in here. Oh, can I hide the chat? Yeah, let's do that. Stream elements. Sorry, this will take a sec, but I'll get this out, Spider. Okay. How's that? That's better? Yep, so I've got a neck. I'm going to put this command that I'm about to type in, I'm going to put this into the Twitch chat. And provided I got my spelling right, which I haven't, I put a two, I put an S in there. All right, so that command run your GSC static system variables HG cast. Combat, no channeling, hard essence. You can't see that either because it's right down the bottom under the photo. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to change my add-ons for this guy all together. A uh, quick question. Uh, Blade Pro, I didn't want to uh, just uh, interrupt you in the middle of a that's the way, man. Uh, hey, uh, so I I did the clear uh, the clear orphans uh, yeah, thing yep. that you posted, and that tended to work, so it saved now. But now it's not running the macro as it should at all. Like it's not like uh, cycling through any of the spells at all when it should be the way I have it. I don't know if that has something to do with the variables or not. Do we have to set variables? No, no, you don't have to set variables. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out why it wasn't working, because I have it set, uh, I just changed the sequence, I have it set to uh, what it should be, key press is fine, tar slash target enemy, no harm, uh, dead, and everything. Um, yep. I'm not sure why it's not working, now it's not letting me delete that one, I don't know, it's kind of bugging out. Um, so that specific macro, whenever I try to delete it, it's not letting me delete it. Okay, so after you did the force clean... Did you do an exit of the yeah. game and then a come back into the game? I did not know. Okay, do you want no, to try that? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that and let you know. Uh, I'll let you know here once uh, it gets done. No worries. Okay, I don't so want to interrupt what you were doing. <laughs> no, you're right. So, if I, I've run that command and it's come out, it's done this just purely to chat. So that GSE print just basically spits the line out into chat. Cast, no combat, channeling, hard essence. So if I take my character and I unequip the heart and I run that same command again, I get the dash dash cast heart essence as opposed to the other. So what that means in my macro is I could put, I've got this line here, HE, right down the bottom. What's happening there is that when it gets to that point, if I've got a neck, it'll try and use the heart. If I don't have a neck, or I don't have the, the heart of Azeroth equipped, it'll just skip it and move on. So it's meaning that these two variables, right, one's a system one that comes with GSE, one's a user one that just basically I set up for just this macro. But what they've meant is that I can turn around and actually start putting in 
some random variable stuff. So I can basically look at what gear am I wearing? Do I want to change the macro? Um, what level am I? Do I want to change the macro? You know, it might just be a case of um, you want to turn around and create like a simple set of, if I go to a, say a, a Shadow Priest. Shadow Priests seem to have these really, 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 really long mod things. Uh, that's not a good example. Okay, so see how I've got this no channeling everywhere. Right? What I could do is I could turn around and create a variable. And then in my macro, I could go Okay, Blade, um, what I would suggest is go delete the icon and recreate it and put it back on your bar. But yeah, so I've gone on my, on these, I've got mod, 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 mod. Great, they're all the same. But if I turn around and go here, I can go no channeling, combat. All of these mod lines have all been updated I've just changed it once. I haven't missed any. I haven't forgotten any, but they've all been updated the same. Um, I could turn around and add in, you know, if I've got a whole bunch of common stuff. I could turn around and type it once and go through. Does that make sense for variables? So you don't have to use them. They're just there for in case. And the reason they're sitting here in their own tab is that this bit here travels with the macro. So if somebody shares the macro, you don't have to worry about, oh, I don't have that variable. I need to set that variable up. The, the variables, apart from the system one that included in every copy of the mod, the variable ones travel with the variables.